We're talking about inventory, specifically periodic inventory, and we're going to try it with the post-it notes one more time for LIFO, last in, first out. So you can kind of see the flow of the goods. Now we talked about last time that we have beginning inventory, which is stuff we bought, bought last period. We put price tags on it. It's on the shelf, ready for customers to, to purchase. We also uh, sold three units at $5, and then we went out and we bought five units at $2. Then we sold another four units at $5, and then we bought six units at $3. Now, how would revenue and cost of goods sold look if I used the LIFO ins assumption instead? Remember, LIFO says the last ones to come in are the first ones sold. So when we had sales of three units at $5, they would not come from beginning inventory top down. They would come from what? Bottom up. So if I sell three units at $5, that means that cost of goods sold is going to be loaded with the $3 inventory units instead of the, the cheaper ones. Now, the reason that many businesses like to use LIFO is because as soon as you sell something, you need to basically have that, that amount of resources to go out and what? Buy more inventory to put on your shelf. So if you use your most recent costs, then you will have allocated probably pretty comparable resources to what you need to replace it. So LIFO is, is most closely associated with, say, replacement cost. What's it going to cost you to replace? Okay, so that took care of that sale, three at five. And remember, when you make a sale, it's what? Debit, accounts receivable, credit sales for the $15. Uh, no entry for what? The cost of goods sold under periodic. Why? Because we compute it. Now, we also had a sale of four units at $5. Under LIFO, starting at the bottom, moving up, we would have sold three of the units, the three remaining units from the last purchase. And since we sold four, I need a, nut, a unit from the second to last purchase. So notice that when I compute cost of goods sold, um, I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six at three dollars or eighteen, and one at two dollars or it's two dollars. So cost of goods sold in this case would be twenty dollars. Revenue can t is still seven units sold at five dollars or thirty-five dollars. Thirty-five dollars minus twenty dollars means our gross margin is really different from what it was under FIFO, isn't it? It's fifteen dollars, a much lower gross margin. If the gross margin is lower, that means the net income will be lower, which means I pay less taxes and that means I probably get to keep more cash for myself. So notice that LIFO in the world of rising uh, costs will yield you a, a smaller net income. You'll pay less taxes, which means you get to keep more cash.